Welcome or welcome back. But I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the domain of this function, which is a square root function. And also, we need to write our answer in what is called the interval notation. And down here, I said the domain of a function is the set of values that we are allowed to plug into the function. So, can I keep and guess? numbers like 2, 5, 7, 10, but what about negative number, right? Negative 10,000. Yeah, I can do that, keep guessing and checking if they work, but that is a long process, and by the way, you can miss the answer. So what is the algebraic process, process for finding the domain for this function? You're going to take this gentleman here, the radicand, how it's called, 10 minus 6x, and make it greater or equal zero, a non-negative uh, number. That's the way we call it. Why? Because remember, you can take square root of any number that is positive or zero. So take the quantity under the radical, the radicand, and make it greater or equal zero. Let's solve this one, and I will subtract 10. Let's see, we can do that. Some people may say we can add 10, uh, 6x, that will be good. And we have negative 6x greater or equals negative 10. Last step to solve for x is divide by negative 6, because you want to cancel these, negative 6, on both sides. And we have x, don't forget, you divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign. So x less or equals negative 10 over negative 6, that will be simplified as 5 over 3. Okay, uh, And this is the domain of this function. Any number that is less or equal 5 thirds. However, we need that interval notation. And that will be translated in this format. Negative infinity to 5 over 3. And here, be sure you put a bracket because we have the equal sign. The domain of this square root function is any number less or equals 5 thirds, or you see the interval notation here. Uh, here on the left side, you can see a graphical approach if you have that choice, a graphing calculator uh, or any other computer system that graphs for you. This is the graph of f of x. And if you notice, from this point here, it goes to the left like that. Or in fact, if we look from left to right, it comes down here and stop here. This point here, and that's the problem if you use a computer system or a graphing calculate, this guy here will be 5 thirds, 5 over 3. This is the domain of this function. Anything less or equals 5 thirds. Nothing on the right of 5 thirds. If you enjoy this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.